certainly need some rain to break that up. Here at home, we've got these cooler, calmer conditions, and this nice, cool, stable air is also helping to bring about a little bit of sunshine under a ridge of high pressure. But increasing clouds today and definitely going to stay cool. Rain will start tonight after 8, 9, 10 o'clock. So it will be later this evening all the way through Friday morning. And then this weekend, we're talking about much colder air. It's going to feel very much like fall, not just a taste of fall. It's going to feel like fall has arrived as we go into Saturday. Right now, though, Sally's still a Category 1. You can see a lot of these outer bands continuing to bring some heavy rain now, pushing into portions of Georgia now and eventually into South Carolina and North Carolina as we go into tonight and tomorrow. This post-tropical low is going to move across the eastern region before making its way back out to sea. Also out in the Atlantic, we've got Hurricane Teddy. This is strong hurricane Category 2 right now. Expect to become a category four on Friday. Just the fact that it's going to be a major hurricane is pretty significant because that's only happened twice. This would be the second time that we've had a major hurricane form so far this season. Tropical storm Vicky is actually expected to weaken as it moves out to the west, but there's a pretty strong tropical wave behind that. And then there's a pretty strong tropical wave in the Gulf of Mexico. Either one of those could become Wilfred later this week. So we could officially go through all of our storm names for 20 2020, leaving us with just the Greek alphabet. We had to do this one other time back in 2005. Uh, that was the only time we were able had to do that with 28 storms, seven used Greek letters. So it looks like we're going to be doing that again this year. Okay, timing on the rainfall. As we go into 10, 11 o'clock tonight, we'll see some rain as far north as Clemson, Anderson, Lawrence, Abbeville. That's tonight. And then overnight and throughout tomorrow morning, you could see it quickly spread across really all of our viewing areas. Area. This is going to come down heavy and it's going to come down in a short amount of time. So for your morning commute tomorrow, just know that you could be dealing with some ponding on roadways. So kind of make those plans now because it's definitely going to be wet. And then we get a little bit of a lull or it starts to kind of pull more toward the south and toward the east as we go into late tomorrow afternoon and evening. And then right now, Friday looks like maybe just a few leftover showers, but overall basically dry. That rain on Friday, most of that will be as a cool front comes through and that's going to deliver a very different forecast heading into Saturday and Sunday. So most of the rain again will be Thursday with maybe a little bit left over Friday morning. But I will say we're looking at an average of three to five inches of rain. The mountains will get the least, say, an average of about two inches of rain in the mountains. If you live along and south of I-85, you could see pockets of five, maybe six inches of rain. But uh, that's kind of what things look like right now. Saturday, Sunday, Monday looks like what the mountains would get this time of year. But no, that's the upstate. Highs in the 70s, overnight lows in the 50s. The mountains will have highs in the 60s, overnight lows in the 40s, before fall officially begins next Tuesday.